Wow, guys. How are you? <laughs> that was very interesting and very exciting. And very scary too. I like it so far. I would say it was a solid intro. No I mean it. And friends, look at these graphics. I mean, it's not feeling like a video game. Very nice. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Okay, guys. Uh, Invitation. Before we get swallowed up by the trees. I should take a look at that map. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. All right, this is the map of Cauldron Lake and this is us and our goals are get to the crime scene, find the deputies. Okay, what other options do we have? We can zoom in, zoom out and here mind place or cauldron lake okay hey over here hey there agent casey right Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh... When are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Hey, 
What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Morton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> what kind of explanation this is? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. All right, meet Deputy Thornton at the uh, crime scene. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. Okay, case board. Here we are. The mind place. Mm -hmm. My version of the mind palace technique. To mm -hmm. sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Okay. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay. You can use right analog stick to move around. Got it. You can use L2R2 to zoom. Got it. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing circle. Okay, what do we know? A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Okay. These are the victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Okay. So we have three victims. And what is the murder method? Slight difference in murders. Blotting only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water, postmortem, and these are the pictures from postmortem. Killer profile, I think. Talk to someone, so we don't have it yet. What is this? Okay. We can switch between map and case board. So guys, this is all we have for now. Killer, maybe a sportsman or hunter. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. 
victim number three was covered in eligible tattoos a message from the killer maybe or their art interesting okay guys that's enough what else we can see here in the mind place by the way she has a very good mind space look at this very relaxing I see your oh <laughs> close to cracking it we're just getting started let's head down the hill to the crime scene fucking nature gives me a headache it's too much sky I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> Mirror peak. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. And the body's behind the door. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool.
by the way guys it's a very strange kind of rain I can hear the raindrops but visually there is no rain so I wonder is this a bug because here I see a few Touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tar. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Oh. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Step one examine the corpse. All right. Step one. Here we are. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Allow Saka to see activity. Close the key image can be selected. What? Action placed on the. Where is the okay? Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Makes sense. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about.
Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to... Paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Alright.
Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. By the way, guys, <laughs> I like this case board thing. It was looking boring, but it's not. Believe me. Interesting. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. For 13 why years. He? Why now? Victim came from... Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition.